cases, right? Because so now I'm going to remove the absolute value. 0 equal x plus 1, negative 0 equal x plus 1. However, 0 is always positive. 0 cannot be a negative number. So this is not even an option. So you're only taking the positive. 0, 0. There's only one 0 on the number line. You can't have a negative reflection of yourself. Okay, so now you solve it. Inverse operate. And you get... So this is your y-intercept. I mean, your x-intercept, which we have already on... Who will I show? On our graph, right? That's what it is. And now what's the y-intercept? Just 1. And so it's just 0, 1, which we happen to get on our chart anyways. It was 0, 1. Your y-intercept was right here, which is right here. So here's my x. Here's my y-intercept. What's number number 1? Number 1. It's the first one. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter if you're working with parabolas, cubics, absolute value, the algebra, the cleanup, the substitution, the table, you gotta know how to do it. It's all the same math, just it's order of operations, it's knowing how to substitute. It's just the graphs look different. Okay, I'm gonna hit stop. try the second. You want to try the second or the third? The third one? Okay, so start the third then. Try, get your XY table going. Are you, are you finished, Copy? I think he is. He's done.